Team LGBTQ Plus earns 32 medals at the Tokyo Olympics. As the torch goes out at Japan National Stadium, the end has arrived for the 2020 Tokyo Summer Games, dubbed the Rainbow Olympics by some for the record number of LGBTQ plus competitors. At least 182 out athletes from about 30 countries attended the Tokyo Games, more than three times the number who competed in the 2016 Summer Games in Rio de Janeiro, according to LGBTQ sports site OutSports. At least 55 of those athletes who competed in 35 different sports won medals. Five nabbed gold for Team USA women's, in women's basketball alone. In fact, if the LGBTQ Olympians competed as their own country, affectionately labeled Team LGBTQ by OutSports, they would rank 11th in the total medal count, right behind France and before Canada. With 32 team and individual medals, 11 of them gold, 12 silver, and 9 bronze. I'm sad that it's over, right? Like, this was the first Olympics that I actually watched, and it was because of our representation, because of our community, you know? I fell in love with Miss Saunders and her crazy-ass hair. All the soccer players, I love the basketball players, were hot as hell, right? All right, the, 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 you know, the wrestlers, Laurel Hubbard, the, the weightlifting girl. He was my favorite. Listen, I'm crocheting now because of that dude, all right? Like, he made a little holder for his medal. How cute is that? I don't want him to go away. There's something... Go ahead. Sorry. Maybe this will mean that they'll finally give us queers our own paradise, like the mascara, you know, with Wonder Woman as our prime <laughs> minister. Oh you know that that they they've been everyone's been wanting to exclude us from the world. So this proves that we can conquer. And doesn't this also prove, Poppy, that we're everywhere? Like you yeah, know, maybe a lot of those athletes weren't free to be out, but you knew. Because, you know, we know, we have that look that we just look at each other. We're like, mm. you're gay, you're gay, yeah. <laughs> you know? And But they were there, and they were representing, and that was beautiful. On international stage. I mean, yes. it's an incredible... I, I, I don't want to, you know, but, but this idea of how inspiring it is for so many of us. Like, I mean, whether you play in amateur sports or play in high school, and as there's so many kind of efforts to to prohibit people from... As trans people, especially, right, in these in, in, in a lot of these sports. Mm -hmm. um, and then to see, like, all these people making it, and that this, this is only the start of something really big. You, you know, for years, I've been made the joke uh, to gay guys, uh, this is sports. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Uh, Greg is uh, sitting at this table and is still one of the uh, evangelists of this is sports, Greg, this is sports. <laughs> um, but what's interesting about this Olympics is uh, from uh, 2012 uh, to 2016, the number of LGBT representation doubled. And as a result, uh, the Olympics and sporting events elevated a little bit of pr in profile in LGBT. This time from Rio in 16 to Tokyo in, in uh, 20, which is really 21, it tripled. And there has, I think, interesting phase response. We've had more recognition in the LGBTQ community of the Olympics than ever in history. And why? It's because we start to see ourselves. Yes. Mm -hmm. Triple the representation means that it's going to continue to continue and continue to grow. And you know one of the fantastic things about representation among lesbians, mostly women representing us at the games, uh, the greatest number of trans ever, the first trans right. gold medal mm -hmm. in history, right. yes. and most important of all, the Olympic International Olympic Committee and the national sports bodies all saying LGBT representation and protection is important yeah. in sports. So when we get to Paris in, in 24, Oh my goodness, what you get ready to see in Gay Paris. Goody, just three more years. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. <laughs> if you gave gay boys jock straps to smell, they would like more sports. LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.